I feel them three words coming. I'm excited. Yeah. Just your guy, Jamar Blackman, a.k.a. J. Black, a.k.a. The Gold Getter. And today, we're just having a conversation. AcroHipHop.com. Shout out to my guy, Iron. Now, I want you to introduce yourself to the people as if they don't know nothing about you. Nothing so, about me. talk to us. Hi, I'm Sanaya L. here with Mecca Media, and I am a suicide attempt survivor. So, I own a nonprofit organization called My Purpose is Dope. Uh, suicide is not an option because my purpose is too dope for me to even go there. So um, as you asked me before what my vision is, so my vision is to actually see a world where suicide is not an option because there are other options. Okay, so let's repress the rewind buttons. Okay, so you're a survivor. So let's take us back to the point where you would actually came to the point you say, you know what, I don't want to be here anymore. Oh gosh, seven times. I'm actually in the process of writing my book called The Seventh Time. So mm. I actually attempted suicide, stood on the top of a um, a, a hospital building and ready to jump. And I, I did it seven times, but the seventh time I said, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I know something is definitely wrong with me and I need to find the help that I need to find. So black people don't get depressed. That's just what I was always told. Black people don't get depressed and we don't do therapy. And so that's the reason why I felt like that was my only option because I had no other options at the time. Mm -hmm. And so I just felt, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to die. I just want the pain to go away. But I, there has to be something else besides jumping off of this building because I'm terrified. I'm, I'm scared. I'm standing there on the edge and I'm just watching like, I, I'm, too, I'm too much of a punk to do it. I just, I could not, I just couldn't fathom, but I didn't know what else to do. And so I just felt like, okay, this is it. Something's wrong with me. I have a problem and I need to find help. I think deeper than that, what's crazy and what's a blessing about your story is that the pain led to purpose. Definitely. And really with you, your whole movement is way bigger than you because now you're able to touch people. You've been there and the story hits different when somebody been there. Yes. You know, so I think that God kept you for a reason and you're going to mm -hmm. bless so many people. But a lot of times people like to be quiet. You know, you talk about depression. These are real emotions people go through. It is. And as black people, they say, you know what, just go to church. Mm -hmm. But no, therapy is okay. Exactly. And like, you know, just, oh, just pray about it. Okay. What am I going to do when I get done praying? I, I have to get up and go do something. Have action it's, steps. Exactly. I have to take action. I have to do something about it afterwards. So what I'm actually praying for is that whoever's going to help me get through this helps me get through it. You know, so that's that, what my prayer should be. And that really connects to my movement. You know, with goal getting. You know, it's one thing to have a goal. You mm -hmm. know, but when you write it down, I tell people that's when it becomes real. Yes. Because the goal will talk to you. It the will. goal will give you direction. Mm -hmm. That's why I named my first book, Goals Give Direction. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough about me. How about you? You tell me about yourself. Well, I think something you was talking about, which is very, very important with me, um, me, I'm all action, you know, so with goals, with goal getter, you know, what it means is uh, one finger to the brain, one to the sky. Ooh. All I'm saying is with the right mindset, you go to the top. Definitely. I put the red check next to the brain because everything starts with the mind and it takes blood, sweat and tears to achieve goals. Ooh. You're a goal getter. I'm a goal getter. Yes. Success is the only option. So the mindset of success is the only option. We don't believe in failure. Right. We either win or learn. Right. We make the adjustments. So I think with you, the progression for us going beyond prayer is writing down the goal. Mm -hmm. Then when you write down the goal, when you actually commit to the goal, it's going to talk to you. Right. That's why I named my first book, Goals Give Direction. So you write down the goal. Okay, now what will it take for me to achieve this goal? So now you got to, it's the person you are. Mm -hmm. It's the person you have to become to achieve the goal. Definitely. A lot of people don't want to put in that work. Right. You know? It's like everybody don't put everything in the microwave. Mm. When you put things in the oven with the seasons, right. they sit for a while, it turns out better. <laughs> exactly. You know? So with my movement, I'm on a mission to change the world. But when I say that, that means my day has to look a certain type of way every single day. Definitely. People made a big deal about me being in the blizzard the other day. Um, I was out there working out. Yeah, I was in the blizzard, you know. Oh. But to me, um, it's a normal day. Okay. I got a goal. So the condition doesn't change the goal. Got you. Rain, sleet, snow, I'm going to be out there. Yeah. And what's crazy is that this mindset, right? It doesn't matter what happened. I'm able to actually connect with people and take people to a whole different level. They're like, you know what? If you just want to do that, I can at least get off the couch and do something. Ooh. And that's always the goal, just to touch one person. He's been inspiring me. Goodness gracious. I'm going to need your mental toughness because I'm not going out in the snow. <laughs> well, it's not even about that. It's deeper than the snow. It's about doing whatever it takes to achieve your goal. Yeah. So my, my mindset is different as far as with me, but with them, whatever your goal is, just understand that it's going, greatness resides outside your comfort zone. Definitely. So you got to be willing to be uncomfortable. Exactly.
Okay, so what's your uh, what's your contact information? Um, uh, you can actually follow me on all social media platforms at My Purpose is Dope. Uh, my email is awareness at mypurposeisdope.com. And what about you? Okay, um, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, J Black the Go Getter. Make sure you go to jblackinspires.com. I'm right now booking for my speaking tour. Mm, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much for tuning in to the Mecca Media Morning Show. I'm your girl, Sonia L. And you guys have an awesome, wonderful, go get a day. Yes.